Hey, my name is Shunshun. I sell art on Shunshun.com. Today we're going to react to Dinar Graffiti. So looking at his webpage, there's no picture of the graffiti on top. You could put that in the YouTube view, which I think would be much stronger. He has a piece, uh, picture of himself with his art in the background. Um, I would use a picture of your face, maybe blocked out if you want to keep your uh, anonymity or Dinar a lot bigger. It's a little bit hard to see that. Um, title wise, I would just call this Dinar Graffiti. I wouldn't call it PPC Graffiti uh, Content. I would take that out. So if we scroll down, he has videos. Um, he hasn't made any playlists. Uh, let me know how many videos he has. He has 179 videos. So probably he could do a lot more different themes like lettering, um, how to's, maybe whatever he has within here. If it's just pure graffiti, then maybe you can just have one playlist, but it would suggest he needs a little more than one playlist. The first video is called Rooftop Gold Graffiti Spray Old School Style Slipped Making Of. Is there a volume? I think there's volume. Let me check the volume. No, there's volume. So the volume starts out super low. Camera is a little bit shaky. It's fine if you want a handheld, but you should have lay, way less shake. <clears throat> it's the metaphor for peace. Now the music's really good. <laughs> So you can see kind of the stages here. You kind of letter it in real quick, um, adjust it a little bit, and then you just block it in. So that's what he's doing right now. Nice detail shot. I'm gonna scroll ahead a little bit, guys. Let's do the red outline. Very strong masculine music. It's really good with graffiti, I think. We got slow mo there. Let's scroll ahead a little bit. Let's add some little like marks to make a little more to it. Just a nice simple uh, piece, I would say. They always sign it at the end like this. So I'm guessing the little paw print is one of his signature marks besides signing it. He's also going to PPC, which is kind of the crew, which is the larger graffiti crew that he hangs around with. Let's scroll a little bit further. Looks super dope. Okay, let's go to the next one. I also like that in the corner he has Dinar. Instead of subscribe, he has Dinar, which is super strong in the video. That's a really cool way to do it. You actually do it in your own kind of font and everything. Since your graffiti gets strong into writing graffiti, so that's, I think, the best way to do the watermark for a video. The next one's called JEL featuring Mortadello, Fred Cleaver, Graffiti Spray, Funky Style, Sunday Fun, Making Of. <laughs> so super long, very like disjointed. Uh, you could probably chop out some of that, but. So down to the sky, up. And then he starts very low music and then he, he ramps it really hard. So obviously it's a really cool graffiti already. And they're gonna go right over it, which is horrible, but it is what it is. If you don't know, graffiti is very typical. You go piece on piece on piece. As long as you're at the same level as the person you're going over, it's fine. But the person underneath is super dope. So if he doesn't do a better piece, it's going to be like a real waste of graffiti. But he's going to letter that in. Let's see. Let's go ahead. So he's doing a nice technique. He's fading in all the colors with the pink to blue. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. Another real 
cool element of graffiti. Sometimes they'll keep the previous graffiti in the background. So you can kind of see like a little bit of their old graffiti and you have the new graffiti on top. So that kind of adds a lot of different elements. I'm gonna scroll a little bit further. Some nice detail shots here. So that's a really key element, the way you angle the can. You can get these really cool clean lines, which is very hard to do if you don't know how to do that. Normally you just get kind of a spray pattern, but once you get really good at it, you use these really tight angles you can see in the hand to get those really sharp, crisp angles. Sometimes we use paper as well, like stencils, but you can usually do it just with a can if you know how to do it, what you're doing. <music> So he's adds the black outline that's very typical in the end. I'm gonna scroll a little further, guys. It's always funny to me like how graffiti has all these kind of childish things. <laughs> So I'm just adding some detail shots in here. It's always kind of funny, like in graffiti, you sign your name that you already signed. <laughs> but I guess it's just the way you do it. You always sign a work no matter, even if it is a work in lettering. a very very cool finish i'd say a lot of different variety of colors he didn't keep the avengers or whatever was on the top of there he has his own little thing but um, yeah you can see it bleeding a little bit onto the next one too but it's just a little bit so it's still cool keeping that original one let's go to the third one it's called the little things in life think positive graffiti spray old school style oh a butterfly so i guess it's gonna do it in here in a school or something they've already pre-painted the um, background And they always have like a little sketch so they can kind of proportion out correctly. I'm gonna skip a little head. I think he's softening the edges here, which is really cool. Let's scroll a little bit ahead, guys. So very cool here. Let's scroll a little more, Fred. That orange is super deep. So he used a lot of neutral colors with the purple and the gray, and then he's just really making a pop with the orange. This is really fire. Let's scroll a little more further. Well, that yellow gives a little more edge to it. Got a little character, I think, which is maybe his telltale thing. He likes to add a character in there. See that really thick outline really makes it pop. Scroll to the end here, guys. The 
definitely looks really cool. Obviously the challenge with the graffiti too as well is if you do it legal, then it's fine. You can film yourself if you're doing pure illegal, which they used to do, and it was considered highly illegal. So it depends on the country. Some countries are very harsh penalties. Germany, I think takes the lighter side. If you go to Mexico, it's a much lighter punishment. Yeah, Southern California, don't mess with them. <laughs> It's pure illegal there. And let's go to the final thing, which is Dinar's website. So he has a narenhandy.de. So D is Germany. You might want to add art in there. Could be a little bit better connected. It's all German. I would say put this in English version too, because you're gonna reach a bigger audience. You're German, you probably definitely speak English. So the videos I think are in English maybe, maybe in German, but it's easy to do this in English as well. So I would add a little flag here so you can kind of switch between the English and German version of the website. You have a little bit of intro here. Uh, he's got his painting outdoors on saran wrap, which I don't know, graffiti artists do this so they don't get in trouble, but it just, like, uh, I just think that's such a waste of the art. You have a portfolio. So there's no pictures pulling up straight out of the gate. Let me click one of these websites. So there's a lot of good website photos here. Um, this does look kind of a 1990s feel to the website. So let me go back to the other one. Click some of these other links. You can see it loads pretty slow as well. So again, I would probably redo this website in a more Instagram look or just a more modern pick with maybe a Wix or a Weebly site or Squarespace is going to be a way better look. He has press here. So he has some private videos. I'm not sure why they're on the website, so you want to fix that. This is good to kind of put these in because a lot of the website articles will disappear over time, the links. So you definitely want to kind of post these in here. I'd probably post these as links and then just pop them up by one by one. Yeah, so he has a lot of different articles on him, but again, it's he has a contact page. So this is really just simple going forward. Might want to have a picture of yourself. He is a collective. So I think these are other artists he's uh, probably related to in his crew, his PPC crew. Again, I would just update this website. It looks like 1990s feel to it. Websites have really improved since then. So this is just really outdated and not doing a really good service and also do an English version. I think that's it for Dinar. <laughs> that's it. Anyway, I think he has really good art. He just really needs to redo the website. Uh, that's my take on Dinar. If you like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next artist reaction video. Thanks, guys.